Rookie in the dating world, there are some red flags that you want to keep an eye out for. Uh, like, um, does he hate his mom? That's a red flag, yeah. maybe? Okay. Talk to you only on social media? Oh, yeah, that could be a red flag, too. Yeah. Here with their advice on some red flags to look for while house hunting, from DeRoche Realty Group and EXP Realty, we want to welcome Julie and Daniel DeRoche. Daniel will maybe give you dating advice if you <laughs> get him at a restaurant or something, but not for today, okay, Daniel? Fair. He'll stick to the house stuff. This is very good. Okay, I like these red flags when we're looking at homes. Uh, Julie, the cleanliness factor, what do you want people to think about when it comes to a red flag? Yeah, so when you walk into a home and it's really dirty, and you would think that people would prepare their homes for getting ready on the market, but yeah. we have walked into a lot of homes that are dirty. Uh, that's a red flag because if they can't pick their home up, while it's on the market for showings. We're worried about what have they not kept up on as far as maintenance goes, things like changing out the furnace filter. Yeah. Um, all the little stuff that needs to be done to a home throughout the years, if they can't even pick it up for showings, that's a red flag. Yeah. Big one. And I love that you're saying that it's a red flag, not just because it's like, oh, you're going to walk in and you're going to go, oh, this doesn't look so great, but because of what it might indicate about like the hard stuff Absolutely. in the house. Yeah, we had I had buyers once that we, we they knew we walked in and they knew there was going to be a lot of stuff wrong with the home because it was really poorly maintained mm -hmm. and they had to do a bunch of stuff after they moved in even down to the fact that they had to get a new washing machine because the washing machine smelled like mold so oh. bad that they could not get rid of it and the, it, it worked fine but it was just so disgustingly dirty yeah. that they had to get a new one you're not specifically talking about a remove everything from your counter you're talking about if you look at the sink and it's got grime and oh, yeah. the, the yeah. plumbing. Or even like, haven't you been? Up, when we were looking at houses, we saw people would have like laundry out on their bed and stuff. And I was <laughs> oh, like, clean your room, Where people. Gets to go. Jeez. Okay, water stains, Daniel. You'll say are another red flag. What's the big deal about that? Yeah, you really got to pay attention to what they are for starters. You know, if you're up in the upper level and you have big stains in the ceiling, is it a water leak from the roof? Because if it's and is it active or is it dry? You have to check that because it could be old damage too. But you really want to investigate that. Oh, yeah, like look at that. Like, but you can't tell if it's active or not. Um, make sure you have an inspector that has an infrared camera, and they make little devices they can actually just touch to the stain and tell if it has moisture in it or if it's dry. So that's wow. very important. But if it's something as simple as like a dishwasher leak or like your kitchen sink, maybe the wood under the sink's a little bit warp or something, you know, that could just be a disposal that went bad at one time and yeah. that's dry and easy to fix. So you really have to pay attention to what it is and then, you know, is it causing mold? Is there something, like if you see a stain like that in the ceiling, is there something up in the top of the attic in the up there that could, you know, on the other side, what's it look like on the other side? Yeah, that's the mold scary up there? thing. Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do about that when you live in your old Minneapolis home and poke something and we have you know, so the bowling many balls fall I, mean, I just, I just, <clears> you know, <throat> just take more money and throw it into the pit. <laughs> so there's so many problems. Um, okay, another red flag, a traditional seller that's selling a home with a disclosure alternative. What does that mean, Julie? So in Minnesota, a uh, seller's disclosure is required when you're selling a home. So that's a, a document that kind of goes through all of the um, things that have happened to the house that the seller is aware of. So most traditional, if you've lived in the home, you would fill out one of those. Um, a disclosure alternative, we find that people will use those if they, maybe the property was an investment property and they rented it and they never lived there, or you're selling the home as a, a state and you're selling it for your parents, you've never lived there. Mm -hmm. So that's when you would use a disclosure alternative and that would make sense. Now I've seen it though when it's a traditional sale and a traditional seller, they've lived there the whole time and they're using a disclosure alternative, that may be a sign that they're trying to hide something or there's something that they don't want to disclose to the buyers. Yeah, that's a red flag for sure. Red flag, all uh, right. What about cracks in the basement foundation, Daniel? What do you think about that? Is that a good thing or bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it can be not a big deal because uh, there's really only two kinds of concrete, in my opinion, the concrete that isn't cracked and concrete that's going to crack. <laughs> <laughs> but it depends, like something like that, like that can literally be like too much water pressure on the outside and it pushes in on the foundation. It could be buckling in and that's a big deal. It Ooh. is fixable and there's another big deal. Um, but if it's just like little hairline cracks in concrete, um, it, it, it can be very minor and it might not be a big deal either, especially depending on the age of the home. Uh, but you want to make sure that you're having somebody proper check that out. Um, it, like that first picture, if it's like that, you might want to bring in a structural engineer because right. there's beams they can put in. They can put big bolts in the walls with steel plates that like literally drill out into the yard to pull that back. Uh, but you want to check the house. So if like in a house like that, if you go upstairs and half the windows don't open and close, 
that's a good sign something's really going on. Or if the doors are all stuck or some of the doors have been shaved down and stuff like that. It, you want to have somebody proper looking at that for so, sure. And then if somebody looks at it, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that the red flag is the deal breaker. You can just no. negotiate in, hey, this is going to cost $10,000 to fix. We want that off the purchase price. Absolutely. And then you go from there. Yep. Okay, Julie, lots of people love to do DIY projects. Why do you say <laughs> these are a red flag? People are very proud. They post them on the gram. Well, and I think, I mean, what's scary is we all know that person that does those DIY projects and they don't know what they're doing and they have no business doing any projects at their house. Mm -hmm. You mean like and concrete cracks in the foundation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> those are the houses that are red flags and I, we do get a little scared when we walk in and we see a lot of projects throughout the house where they did them themselves, they didn't pull permits, they didn't do them properly, especially like plumbing and electrical. When you're getting into things like that, it's really best to have a professional come do them. Yeah. And um, that can cause a lot of issues down the road if they were done by okay. the homeowner. Let's talk about the aroma. You, yeah. I, nothing is worse than you walk into a house and there's a musty or smell that you don't really know what it is. Or even worse, it's just like tons of air freshener or like 45 cookie candles going at one time. I mean, what do you think this means, Daniel? Oh, God, it's so many things. Uh, you know, over the years, we've seen it many, many, many times. For starters, just don't do that. You're almost better off letting people smell your pet urine over... 19 <laughs> candles burning like just be honest at that point so it's going to come back to bite you anyway but yeah usually it's hiding you know smoke like some people you know smoke in their homes and they're mm -hmm. trying to hide that or it is it's cat urine or pet your dog urine something like that Ooh. Um, which is a big deal. Like we've had to deal with that over the years. Like, you know, you might see a little stain in a carpet or something like that and not notice it. It could be behind the sofas and stuff like that. Those fresheners, those air fresheners can really mask that a lot. You buy it, you don't think about it, the seller doesn't disclose it. You go to change the carpet. Now all your subfloor has all these stains in it. You literally have to replace the subfloor. It's not just a quick throw the new carpet over. That smell's not going anywhere. You got to yeah. rip that out. It's a it's a big deal. You got a lot of red flags here. Give me one green flag in the time <laughs> yeah, that we have it. here. Like, let's, let's end on a positive. Let's do it. Let's buy it. Yeah, on the opposite of that dirty house, when you walk into a really clean, meticulously, meticulously made house, it is. That is a green flag to me most of the time. And you say really solid records, Daniel, when they can show you everything they've done, which I think is something to think about when you own a home now, <laughs> keeping track of all the stuff so that you're prepared so you can be a good seller. Yeah, imagine walking into a house for sale and they've got a book on the counter that literally shows the receipts from every contractor they've hired and what they did and they're provi providing you all this documentation. To me, that's a seller that took pride in their home and they're excited to sell it. They want a good new owner. Uh, to me, that's a big green flag and that's probably going to be a good inspection. Good stuff, you guys. Thank you so much. If you'd like Julie and Daniel and the team at DeRoche Realty Group and eXp Realty to help you buy or sell a home, you can find their contact information. It is posted on TwinCitiesLive.com. Um...